Hey guys, Andy here, and welcome to my September 2020 update video. Coming up. Alright, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. Welcome once again to my September 2020 update video for, you guessed it, September 2020. Woo! So yeah, as always with these monthly update videos, I'm gonna go over some personal life stuff as well as YouTube stuff. So, <sighs> breathe in that good ass prana. And as always, let's just jump right into it. The first thing I wanna talk to you about is YouTube stuff. So, really proud of the recent videos I've been putting out for the Indie Japan channel, and you guys seem to like them too. So, I definitely wanna keep making more of that quality Japan content in the same vein. I've really been focusing more on shooting relevant b-roll to the subject at hand, doing more in terms of storytelling, working on my pacing, things like that. But uh, I've been kind of torn on some things youtube wise and that is, you know, the overall amount that I'm getting from AdSense from that channel in comparison to my Edited by the indie -san channel, which is my video editing tutorial channel. So. Even though I don't post that much to that channel, it's still consistently raking in a good amount of money for me. I've just been kind of torn, you know, like, creatively speaking, I really enjoy the content I've been putting out on my Andy Japandi channel, but the uh, Edited by the Andy San channel, even though I don't up update it all that often, still pulls in the lion's share of uh, my AdSense revenue. So, I was thinking, you know, maybe I could put out some more tutorials, but really, I'm not, <laughs> it's not really all that interesting to me to make video editing tutorial content, even though I know it does very well for the algorithm and uh, it does help teach people about how to edit videos and stuff like that. So I know it's, it's useful, but it's not really creatively fulfilling, I guess you could say. Um, so I was also considering maybe doing like a different type of series for that channel. I was also thinking about for my Creator 101 podcast, maybe doing kind of like video essay type content because my uh, video essay on The Truman Show did so well. You guys really seemed to like that video, even though it wasn't really intended for YouTube. It was just for my uh, art of film class. But uh, I was thinking about maybe doing like some video essays on well-known content creators and just kind of give you like an origin story for them. So for a lot of these rising creators who people don't really know about or know the full backstory, you got that to look at. And hopefully that would help get that channel monetized as well. And then in addition to that, also continue on the Creator 101 podcast. But yeah, just kind of torn on some things as far as that goes. And if you guys have any uh, suggestions as far as what I should do. Uh, be sure to leave them in the comments down below, the boobs, boobs, and uh, I'll do my best to oblige. But I'm pretty sure I'll think of something. You know, <laughs> I always tend to, to figure things out eventually. But anyway, let's move on to some freelancing stuff. So, um, as you guys know, I've been working as a videographer for an international school out in Tokyo, and that's been going pretty well. Uh, I really love interacting with the kids and make it that quality content for the parents. And uh, it's been paying pretty handsomely too. Don't want to get into specifics for obvious reasons, but I've been uh, doing pretty good with that. So definitely want to uh, keep that up. And uh, in addition to that, I've also made my cameraman debut on the Eric Mealtime channel for one Mr. Eric Surf 6. So as you guys know, I used to edit for Eric back in the day when I was still back in uh, Mercogen land, but uh, I recently made my cameraman debut for that channel where I both shot and edited the video and uh, his his audience seems to uh, to really dig it, you know, it's uh, being very well received and uh, it's his collaboration with Aaron from the Bento Buster channel and uh, really had a lot of fun putting that one together and shooting it as well. Um, Eric's a good dude, definitely want to uh, make more of that quality content with him as well, but it's just a matter of our schedules aligning. So uh, school started up for me last week, so I do that during the week, and then during the weekends I do the uh, videographer stuff for the international school. So it's a bit of a trip to uh, try to align our schedules, but uh, 
definitely do want to make some more videos with Eric in the future. So uh, keep an eye out for that. So that said, let's move on to the personal life section. And uh, as I said before, uh, school started up for me last week. It's my last semester here at Lakeland University of Japan under the Associates program. And uh, things have been going pretty good so far. Yeah, so the plans for me continue on at Lakeland University of Japan through the bachelor's program. But right now, time's recording, the bachelor's program hasn't been officially approved yet by the Ministry of Education as well as the Ministry of Immigration. But as things change, obviously, I'll be sure to, uh, to let y'all know. That's my main plan moving forward once I graduate from, uh, from Lakeland at the end of this year, 2020. Woo. Uh, but barring that, uh, another plan I would have, if uh, Lakeland didn't launch the bachelor's program by then, is to transfer out to Temple University of Japan. Now, I know some of you guys might be wondering, well, Andy san you uh, failed a class last semester, which is the whole reason you're even uh, studying at Lakeland this semester. So why would Temple even give you the time of day now that your GPA is lower versus then when your GPA was in a much better place? Well, simply put, once I pass my previously failed class, they'll wipe the uh, failing grade from my record and they'll replace it with a passing grade. So it'll be like I never failed in the first place. So my application to Temple is good for a year. So basically all I'd have to do is just send them an updated transcript from Lakeland and uh, talk with my uh, student liaison and uh, just go from there. So if that's not an option, my third and final option would be to transfer out to the main campus of Lakeland out in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Now, I did debate between that or their partner university out in uh, Virginia Beach, but considering the cost of living out in Virginia Beach versus out in Sheboygan, Wisconsin, even though I'd be taking a significant cut in terms of BAH going out there, it is the more enticing option as they do have a lot more affordable housing options for me to uh, continue my education out there should I decide to uh, take them up on that. And plus it seems to me like a uh, much safer area anyway. You know, Virginia Beach, especially being a military town, uh, for those of you who live in military towns uh, in the US, most of them are kinda eh, a little, little yabai, a little, little scary as far as some things go. Before we end things here, there is something I, I kinda wanna talk about as far as uh, some stuff that I heard uh, in comments elsewhere. So one of the comments I've been getting a lot of in some form or fashion is kind of talking about like, why do I even continue being on YouTube and continue doing YouTube despite my lack of perceived success? And uh, the simple answer is because I love YouTube, love making videos, and I want to keep making videos. My goal is to be able to make a living making videos. Now. That doesn't necessarily mean making a living from YouTube videos, from my channels. Um, it just means making money from, uh, from doing videos, you know, whether it's uh, corporate work, client work, uh, working for other YouTube channels, whatever, you know. Whatever pays the bills and gives me that uh, sweet, sweet okane to uh, keep me fed and uh, keep a roof over my head. So one of the things that you know, I've been talking about a lot, a lot lately is just the time that I've been on YouTube. And before it was kind of a cool thing because there was not a whole lot of creators that have been on the platform quite as long as I have that still continue to make content. And after a while, you know, people would see the uh, amount of time that I've been on YouTube growing and growing, but my views, subscribers, so on and so forth, staying about the same, you know, it became less of this kind of novelty of, oh man, this guy's still still chugging along and more of kind of an albatross around my neck as far as like, man, you're, you've been on YouTube almost 15 years and you still haven't quote, made it? You know, what, what the hell are you doing with your life? Like Jesus, get a job already, fuck, you know? But like I said before, you know, I love making YouTube videos and uh, I wanna keep doing it, you know, even if, uh, I make more money elsewhere, you know? I still consider YouTube to be uh, my passion and I wanna keep making videos on this platform as long as I can. As long as uh, YouTube's still around and kicking, definitely wanna keep making them vids. So despite 
you know, whatever metric you want to look at, you know, whether it's, you know, subs, views, comments, whatever, you know, that stuff doesn't really drive me to, uh, to keep making videos, you know, it's, uh, just, you know, I'd be making videos even if I wasn't making any money off of YouTube. That being said, you know, I do see a future a bit more long term where, you know, maybe I'm not making as much stuff for myself on YouTube and focusing more on the, uh, the freelancing or, you know, client serving side of YouTube or just video making in general. But uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So, oh, <laughs> I almost forgot. There is one last update, I promise this time. But there's one last thing I do want to talk about that kind of fits into personal life and YouTube -y stuff. So, last thing. Um, next week, I'll be celebrating my five year anniversary of getting out of the US Navy on September 25th, 2015, is when I was officially discharged. And uh, I want to do some kind of fun video event type thing, uh, probably for the Andy Japandi channel, just because it's Japan related. But I uh, definitely want to do some kind of event out in Yokosuka to, uh, to celebrate. You know, maybe invite some of my friends along to uh, go out for uh, a night on the town, you know, doing a little haunch crawl and uh, hitting up some spots and uh, just having a good time, you know. So uh, be on the lookout for uh, that video coming soon. And with all that said, guys, this is the Andy San. Time for now. And as always, forever, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.